Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I wanted to talk about Joe Biden t-shirts because I did a video not too long ago talking about how we're making some pretty easy sales uh, playing the same, you know, obvious political niche and playing it both ways. However, I've noticed an uptick in um, community members talking about getting Biden shirts removed. Now, I don't want to tell you specifically to remove any shirts right now, but I want to put some um, feedback that I've seen on your radar, assuming you may be selling some Joe Biden related shirts. And really, um, I don't even know how to call it. Like, do we just call it the political niche? Uh, this is kind of uncharted territory with what uh, Amazon's been doing lately. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Let's get started. Quick reminder, take advantage of the weekly print-on-demand giveaway. It's free. Two winners are going to be randomly selected and announced this Sunday. They're going to receive a license to Merch Titans, Upload Automation, Merch Ninja, Research Tools, All Sunsets, Premium Graphics, and Bubble Scout, the premier Redbubble niche research and validation tool. You'll find a link at the top of the description. All right, so as mentioned before, uh, it wasn't that long ago, I did a video talking about how we can make print-on-demand sales selling t-shirts and whatever else. Related to, um, basically, I mean, I, I say Joe Biden, but what is it really? It's really just whatever the TV is talking about, all right? Like, I don't watch a lot of TV, but I can kind of guess what the mainstream news has been uh, covering recently by just doing niche research on Amazon. Like, I don't even need to go to the source. I can just see what t-shirts are selling and make a pretty educated guess because, like we always say, like, out of sight, out of mind. You know, what is the TV not talking about? I think that's a lot more relevant than what the TV talks about half the well, more than half the time, almost exclusively. Anyways, the purpose of me saying that is that when the TV talks about something and the people that the talking heads read their script, that's what people are thinking about. And what people are thinking about is like step one to generating sales. So a lot of us were selling uh, politics, Joe Biden. What do I call it anymore? I don't even know. We're, we're selling Joe Biden shirts and a lot of them were removed lately. So first thing I thought of was, is it trademarked? You know, why are they getting removed? All right. And I know when I say a lot, it's, um, it's subjective, right? It's relative. Like we don't, what does a lot really mean? You know, cause there's not some graveyard that we can just go to and see all of the shirts that were removed and kind of figure out why. All right. And I'm going to show you some of what the uh, community members were saying about their removals. But first I think, you know, was, was it trademarked? Did we miss something? Is there a word that's being included in the ones that get removed that, is trademarked. So I looked at uh, FJB in this case because I had somebody message me directly saying that they had multiple FJB shirts removed. And um, when I look at the USPTO website, I see three FJBs with a live dead indicator and two of the three have a uh, registered number. So let's check out those two records. The first one says that it is protected on the following goods and services, FJB. Balloons, sailboards, trampolines, archery bows, badminton rackets, billiard tables, a lot of um, uh, fun activities, but nothing related to the clothing, t-shirts, sweatshirts, etc. Okay, so we're good to go there. The next FJB, protected on entertainment, namely live music and concerts performed by musical artist or musical group and a website on a global computer network. Okay, good. So we're, we're good to go here. Nothing related to shirts, clothing. Um, even by like some fringe broad description. No, we're good. Okay, so it's not that. So then what the heck is going on? Now we're just left to guess. And again, the a big part of me making this video is to like just kind of inform you that uh, we've seen this before. And actually, I'll wrap the video with talking about that. Uh, but let's look at what some people had to say. And um, I, I blurred out their names. But so this was the person that sent me the screenshot that had multiple removed. And they had uploaded to Merch by Amazon um, multiple shirts that were in that FJB niche that was crushing, you know, it was like an overnight success came out of nowhere, um, and was the best selling shirt for a while. And you can see their title was FJB pro America for Joe Biden FJB. Okay. Now FJB, we know that the, uh, I'm pretty sure F in FJB was for, um, it was meant to represent the word for F O R right <laughs> for Joe Biden pro Biden, right? We're selling it to Biden supporters. Um, look at why they were removed. It says, we are contacting you because your submission appears to violate our content policy. And then they cite the uh, content policy part that says content using profanity to attack a group or individual. 
so they're saying that there was some profanity included in the listing however they confirmed that they didn't have any profanity in the listing so what do we do here right because <laughs> there's still fjb shirts on merch by amazon and there's still new ones getting through yet for some reason some people are getting theirs removed and not just one but multiple and we know that is like you got to avoid the rejections. You got to avoid this wasn't I guess a rejection. Um was it your recent design submission? Um okay, maybe it was a rejection. So maybe it never got live. Uh I always wonder cuz if it, if they start like doing algorithmic sweeps of live shirts and pulling them down too, that's also one that we really need to be aware of. Um but anyways, so I want to put that on your radar. There's a second one here. They said be careful with your anti-Biden shirts. They seem to be souring to them. <clears throat> Mine was funny and not hateful, like I see a lot of them, and I got this nasty reject. It was an original theme with the word sh apostrophe t in it they have since redlined that word and i got this rejection after about a week of them holding it under review um so basically it's like the takeaway here is it may be that it was a biden shirt that in this case actually did have profanity whereas the previous ones that i just showed you did not i mean i didn't show you the actual shirt but he confirmed that they did not um whereas this one did have the word in it uh Although, look at this one, right? So this one says, the one that didn't have profanity cites the rule content using profanity to attack a group or individual that didn't use profanity. And then the one that did use profanity links to content that promotes, incites, or glorifies hatred, violence, racial, sexual, or religious intolerance, or promote organizations with such views. So, and the person that posts this, by the way, is very active in the Merch by Amazon group. Um, I trust them when they share um, feedback and whatnot um, they're very like i said very active um, doing well with their merch account so um, they did this just as a public service announcement and i wanted to kind of pass that along to everybody on youtube just be careful i don't know what's going on i don't know what's changing it's interesting that merch by amazon's like algorithmic rejections are mixing up the content policy violations and not necessarily it doesn't seem like they're pulling the right ones but anyways um one last one this person says i put an anti-biden shirt and it's on manual review. I regret it. And then someone posted in the comments, mine got rejected too. It's my bestseller on T Public and Redbubble. Guys, I don't know what to tell you. You know, it's a weird time to be alive right now, as we know, because it wasn't that long ago. What was it? Less than a year ago where we were in the same boat. We were, we were doing the same thing. Just swap out the word Biden for Trump. And we were making, hopefully everybody was making a lot of sales catering to the pro-Trump crowd and the anti-Trump crowd, right? Um, but as we all remember, I'm sure one day out of the blue pro Trump was no longer allowed, right? You weren't allowed to think it. You weren't allowed to say it. You weren't allowed to sell it. Um, we all had to kind of go in there and, uh, if you had pretty merch pro, we had a little bit of an easier time, but we had to kind of bulk delete all of our, uh, Trump shirts catering to one side, but not the other. And there was no like formal statement or anything like that coming from the merch by Amazon team about, you know, only one ideology is correct from here on out but we all kind of took notice and we want to protect our accounts at the end of the day we're just trying to make money selling t-shirts and we reacted accordingly so i don't know if what we're talking about right now with the um two sides of the biden thing if in the future there's only going to be one um one side of that that we're allowed to cater to and sell to so just be mindful at the end of the day protect your accounts we're doing this because we want to make money right uh so let's not forget that Let's not get too charged up over the fake two-party paradigm. Sorry, I, I can't help but call it what it is. Um, anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Before you leave, just wanted to remind you, I have a seven-day free Merch by Amazon mini course you can take advantage of in the description. And I have an Amazon Merch community where you can get the heads up on things like this and talk to other Merch sellers, protect your accounts, find best-selling niches, do design reviews, whatever you want to do. Um, check that out link in the description last but not least I wrote a full merch course if you would like to join it walks you through exactly how I took my account from tier 10 to tier 200,000 it's all my best advice in the order you need it guys so check that out thank you guys for watching please have a great day please like and subscribe by the way I always forget to say that actually I never forget to say that please like and subscribe guys have a great day I'll see you tomorrow